Today on Ham Radio Q&A, we're going to dig into some of the more advanced APRS features of the Yaesu FTM 400, so please keep watching for more. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio Q&A. I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community, so if this is your first time watching, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Well, when it comes to mobile APRS, Yesu's FTM 400 XDR is an excellent choice as it contains a built-in GPS, excellent full-color touchscreen, and a sophisticated set of APRS functions. For mobile APRS use, I believe the FTM 400 really gives the Kenwood TMD 710G a run for the money. As I've said before, APRS, or the Automated Packet Reporting System, is a real-time tactical mode that allows you to transmit your geolocation and send and receive short text messages and beacons. In my previous video on the FTM 400, I went through the basic steps on how to get APRS up and running on this rig. And if you're new to this radio, I recommend that you watch it first. Links to it can be found in the video description below. But there's so much more that this radio can do, so we're going to run through some of the more advanced APRS features that really make the Yesu FTM 400 shine. One of the features of the FTM 400 that I really like is its implementation of smart beaconing. When you use a standard beacon rate, the radio will transmit your beacon at a predetermined time. This works if your speed is consistent, but if you do a combination of city and highway driving, you may find you beacon too much on the highway and not enough in the city. Smart beaconing takes into consideration the change of speeds and will alter your beacon rate accordingly. You do this by adjusting the slow rate and the fast rate settings. The FTM 400 has four smart beacon settings fields, low speed, high speed, slow rate, and fast rate. There's also a turn angle setting for the corner pegging feature. This will send a beacon when you turn a corner, which is really handy in the city. You can use the factory defaults. They are pretty good, but I've tweaked the settings a bit to give a more consistent two minute transmit interval at the higher speeds. What I've done with my radio is to set the low speed for five miles per hour. My high speed setting is 50 miles per hour and my fast rate is 120 seconds or every two minutes. So if I'm at highway speeds, I will beacon at a consistent interval. When my speed falls between the slow rate and the fast rate, my beacon rate will be the fast rate multiplied by the high speed and then divided by my actual speed. This results in more beacons when I'm going fast and less when I'm going slow. The nice thing is that you can play around with the fast rate and the fast speeds to find a beacon rate you know, that really fits your driving habits. I also mentioned corner pegging. That's done by sending a beacon whenever you turn a corner. Driving through town, you may not show an accurate track as you are turning corners more often than the beacon rate. But with corner pegging, the unit will send a beacon every time you turn, giving you a more accurate track. To turn on the smart beaconing, press the function button to bring up the menu and then press the beacon button until the solid circle on the screen is hollow. This indicates that smart beaconing is active. Scanning through the station list, you'll notice that some of the beacons will have frequency information. In my FTM 400 basic APRS video, I mentioned that if you have the frequency information embedded into your status text, then other stations will be able to tune into your frequency. You tune into the frequency by pressing the QSY button. To do that, first set your A band to the VFO mode. Your radio loads the frequency into the VFO, so you need to be in the VFO mode for that to work. Then go to the station list and select a station. Alternately, if the station flashes on the screen, you can also press the QSY button. The frequency will load into the VFO, and then you can make a call. And then when I hit back, hit back, we're in uh, already loaded in. I should be able to make a call. KB9 VBR. And of course, this repeater is way out of range for me. But. So you may have noticed that the station I was trying to call was too far away. That's not uncommon to have stations that are beyond the distance that you can transmit show up to show up on your screen. Sort the station list. Uh, the default sort of the station list is in time received order, but there are also options to sort it by distance and call sign. To change the sort, first press the sort filter button and then select the sort mode. And then press the sort button. The list will be reordered. 
Please note that the new stations will be appended to the top of the time, in time order. So if you want to, to sort them back in either call sign or distance order, you're going to need to press that sort button again. An integral feature of APRS is sending and receiving messages. The FTM 400 makes this process easy as its large touchscreen doubles as a keyboard. So to send a new message, go to the menu and press the message button. Next, enter the call sign and your text. Press the transmit button and the message will be transmitted. You should receive an acknowledgement when the message is received, but sometimes, you know, that takes a bit of time for the acknowledgement to make its way back uh, through, uh, through the system to you. You can also reply to a station by picking the station from the station list and pressing the reply button. This will bring up the message screen. Press edit text and enter your text. Next, hit the transmit button and the message will be sent. I need to talk a little bit about position ambiguity. One of the facts of APRS is that your location is out there for the whole world to see. GPS technology is extremely good and the precision of today's units will resolve you down to feet. So a person could potentially locate the exact parking spot of your vehicle. So if you wish to be a little bit more private on where you are, you can engage the position ambiguity function. This feature will truncate your location coordinates, making your location, in a sense, more ambiguous. Normally, when turned off, your position will be resolved down to degrees, minutes, and decimal minutes. Turning on the position ambiguity, you will see four settings from one to four. The first will truncate part of the decimal minutes, and as you move up from settings two up to four, more and more of the ending digits will be removed from your position, making your position circle bigger and bigger. In fact, at position four, you will only transmit your position in degrees, making it quite hard for others to precisely locate you. So if privacy is a factor, feel free to engage the position ambiguity to your particular tastes. Finally, if you screw things up and you wanna start from the beginning, there's a master reset for the APRS settings. Under the reset clone menu is the APRS reset button. This will set the APRS features back to their factory defaults so you can start fresh. Now there's more little bits and pieces that I haven't covered. And if you haven't done so yet, I recommend that you download Yesu's APRS manual for the FTM 400. It contains 96 pages of information on just the APRS features of this amazing radio. It's available on the Yesu website and I put a link to it in the video description below. What do you like about the Yesu FTM 400? Is there an APRS feature that I missed or you have questions on? Well, please leave them in the comments below. I'll follow up and maybe even pick out a few from my next Your Questions Answered video. For more articles and information, be sure to check out my blog at www.jpol-antenna.com. Uh, your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. So if you enjoyed this video, give me that big thumbs up. Maybe check out some of the other recommended videos alongside here. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and press the little notification bell so you get alerted when new videos are released. Well, that's it for this time. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day and 73.